Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the independent horror film called The Ballad of Skinless Pete, brought to us by Dustin Mills, who directed and co-wrote it with Brandon Scott Salkill, who also plays Dr. Peter Peel. And Dr. Peter Peel, along with his uh, partner, Dr. Alice Cross, are working on a cure for cancer, which they feel might... Uh, uh, be inside this exotic parasite. Well, when they've got pressure to try to come up with results before their funding's cut off, they, old Peter Peel decides to try to use the cure on himself, which in these films, you know, never goes right. And suddenly his world is shattered and he, a monster is created in the form of Skinless Pete. This film really took me by surprise, one, because it's a more serious tone than Easter Casket. While there are little bits of uh, humor in here, it's definitely overall a more serious, more gritty, more dark film than Easter Casket. And I really liked that. Uh, that is, this is a tried and true horror film, to be sure. Now, one is the direction of this film is really well done. I mean, the story, the way it's played out and told is very interesting. You've got some great camera work going on in here. I love some of the shots they had in here, some of the wider shots and everything, everything looked really good and top notch, especially for a low budget independent film uh, of this nature. So really great work there for uh, the production design of it. And the gore as well. Oh my god, the gore in this film looks fantastic. Dustin Mills does great special effects uh, in his films and this is definitely one of those prime examples. Gore whores, you will love this film. One, not only for Skinless Pete, but for the other special effects that they do in here. All practical. Hell Hallelujah for practical gore effects. Really love those over uh, a lot of CGI effects. And because uh, it's hard to do CGI effects well. But definitely love the practical gore in here. And gore horrors, you'll like that in there too. Now this isn't for the faint at heart or those who may be offended by nudity. Because Dustin Mills doesn't shy away from nudity in his films. And that uh, there are a number of uh, nude scenes in this film as well. So if you are kind of don't care for that, may want to avoid it. But I really recommend The Ballad of Skinless Pete for all the fans of independent horror films out there. It's really well directed, well done, some good performances in here by Brandon Salkill and Aaron R. Ryan and the rest of the cast really put their all into this uh, uh, but this lower budget independent film and I, I think it'll be definitely worth your time. You can catch it now. I'll put the link down below. I believe you can buy the DVD or possibly streaming as well. I'll have to check but I know you can get the DVD as well. Check out their Facebook page as well. I'll put the link down below and I think The Ballad of Skinless Pete should be caught by anyone who's a fan of independent horror horror film, or just looking for a decent gory time, which Ballad of Skinless Pete definitely is. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stop.